The World Health Organization classifies three parasites as group one carcinogens, substances that definitely cause cancer in humans. Meanwhile, ivermectin, a Nobel Prize winning anti-parasitic drug, has demonstrated powerful anti-cancer effects in studies published in major medical journals. Yet when Joe Tippins became the only patient cured out of 1,100 participants in a clinical trial, while secretly taking the anti-parasitic drug fenbendazole, the medical establishment dismissed his case as anecdotal, despite institutional researchers proving anti-parasitic drugs prevent cancer progression in laboratory studies. According to the International Agency for Research on Cancer, part of the World Health Organization, three parasitic species are definitively classified as Group 1 carcinogens. Schistosoma hematobium, a blood fluke found in Africa and the Middle East, is linked to bladder cancer. Opistorchius viverini and Clonorchis sinensis, liver flukes found in Asia, are classified as definitive causes of bile duct cancer. But here's what's truly staggering. These parasites don't just correlate with cancer. They actively hijack cellular mechanisms. Schistosoma eggs release proteins that directly damage DNA and trigger oncogene activation. The parasites essentially reprogram human cells to become cancerous, which explains why chronic infections lead to malignancy in up to 20% of cases. Ivermectin, which won the 2015 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for its effectiveness against parasitic diseases, has been extensively studied for anti-cancer properties. Research published in multiple journals shows that ivermectin has powerful anti-tumor effects, including the inhibition of proliferation, metastasis, and angiogenic activity in a variety of cancer cells. Johns Hopkins Medicine announced in August 2021 that their researchers found an anti-parasitic drug prevents pancreatic cancer's initiation, progression, and metastasis in genetically engineered mice. This wasn't alternative medicine. This was Johns Hopkins, one of the world's leading medical institutions, conducting rigorous scientific research. Here's where it gets fascinating. UC Berkeley molecular biologist Peter Duesberg has proposed that cancers are actually evolving into autonomous species, akin to parasites. His research suggests that cancer tumors are not just malfunctioning human cells, but are becoming parasitic organisms that depend on their host for food while operating independently, exactly like traditional parasites. In 2016, Joe Tippins was diagnosed with small cell lung cancer and enrolled in a clinical trial testing a novel anti-cancer drug. Simultaneously, he was taking 222 milligrams of fenbendazole orally, along with vitamin E, CBD oil, and curcumin under veterinary guidance. After three months, a PET scan revealed no detectable cancer cells in his body. According to documentation, Tippins was the only patient cured of cancer among the 1,100 clinical trial participants. While this represents anecdotal rather than controlled clinical data, the statistical anomaly raises profound questions about the role of fenbendazole in his recovery. Fenbendazole belongs to the benzimidazole class of anti-parasitic drugs, Recent studies show benzimidazole's work by binding to beta-tubulin, disrupting microtubule formation, a mechanism that's critical in both parasite reproduction and cancer cell division. Essentially, the same mechanism that kills parasites also kills cancer cells. Despite published research, the medical establishment actively discourages these treatments. Dr. Samyukta Molangi, a medical oncologist at Tennessee Oncology, reported that between 20% and 25% of cancer patients may be taking ivermectin, yet doctors are trained to dismiss these inquiries. Neither the FDA nor the World Health Organization have approved ivermectin for cancer treatment. The standard response is that human clinical trials are needed, yet such trials require massive funding that pharmaceutical companies won't provide for off-patent drugs that can't generate profits. Here's the regulatory catch-22. The FDA demands expensive clinical trials costing hundreds of millions for drugs that already have decades of safety data. Meanwhile, new cancer drugs with far less safety evidence receive expedited approval if they show even modest benefits in small trials, because they generate massive profits. The economics reveal the real story. The global cancer treatment market was valued at over $100 billion in 2023 
with individual treatments often costing tens of thousands of dollars per month. In contrast, a course of fenbendazole costs under $50, and ivermectin costs even less as a generic medication. If parasites contribute to cancer causation and antiparasitic drugs provide effective treatment, the financial implications for the oncology industry would be catastrophic. Consider this. The average cancer patient generates $150,000 in revenue over their treatment course. An effective $50 cure would eliminate 99.97% of that revenue stream. The pattern is consistent across medicine. Acknowledge research exists, demand impossible clinical trial standards for cheap drugs, while expensive treatments with similar evidence levels receive expedited approval. This isn't conspiracy theory. It's documented regulatory policy favoring profitable treatments over affordable ones. The scientific evidence connecting parasites to cancer and antiparasitic drugs to cancer treatment exists in peer-reviewed literature from prestigious institutions. Yet this research remains largely excluded from public medical discussion, raising questions about priorities when profits potentially exceed patient care. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute medical advice. Always consult with qualified healthcare providers before making treatment decisions. The research presented here represents published scientific literature, not treatment recommendations. If this revelation about suppressed cancer research shocked you, subscribe for more videos exposing the gap between published science and public medical information. The truth exists in the literature, we're just connecting the documented dots.